It says. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and there again. Hi, Diane. Test three. All right. Let's see. Hi, Nita. Is it better? Great. It's not as good of a quality video wise as it could be, but if you upgrade your phone, you're going to be in great shape. Awesome. You're awesome, Becca. Did you guys know that Becca is awesome? Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Becca. Bye. Phone with Becca, and she has been helping me get this set up. So let's see how we do. Um, problem is, just so you know, I have bifocals. <laughs> so. That's why I do this all the time, so I can see what you guys are saying. So what I'm going to try and do is bring my live up over here on my laptop. And turn the volume off. Oh, yeah. I can see me. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to look over here at the comments. Yes, Becca does have many, many, many comments. Okay, so I see I am buffering a little bit. So, all right. Great. I'm going to just type in here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. This is pretty neat. So, you guys want to hang out while I work on this art quilt a little bit? Um, I think I know what I'm going to have to do to go live. Um, I think I'm going to have to get a new phone. <laughs> so, uh, and I knew that already, so... Uh, mute. I'm going to look at the comments and see what you guys are talking about. Hi, Ray. Hi, Robin. Hi, Blue Skies. Um, hi, Diane. Donna. Angela. Patricia. Hi, Jim. Hi, Nita. Hi, Christine. Hi, Becca. Okay. So, are we still doing better? So, tell me, you guys, um, how's the quality of the video? Um, how's the volume? Okay, staticky. Let me see what happens if I put my mic on. <clears throat> Can you guys still hear me? Okay, how is that? Is that better? Great. Is it, is it too loud now or just fine? Much better. Okay, great. Thanks. And the uh, video quality doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, it's better than it was.
Okay. Um, I'm just waiting to see what you guys say about the, the quality of the video. Okay, great. Okay, so um, I don't want to mess up stopping the video to check and see what internet I'm on. Um, but I know my phone has the ability to do 5G. But I also have 2G service. And sometimes when the 5G drops, it'll my phone will just automatically go to 2G. So there is that. I think I would definitely would get better service if I if the 5G was going. So uh, I definitely think that the quality of the webcam or, or you know on my phone is better than the one on the laptop so voice is still a little staticky okay all right I'm gonna look at the chat because that one on the phone is way too small and I can't see it <laughs> Okay, it gets blurry. Okay, Nita. Um, lots of prayers to you. Go talk to your sister. Thanks for stopping by. It was really great to see you. Um, let's see. All right. Um, really appreciate everybody commenting about the uh, quality of the video. It really helps me out. I know it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Whoops. <laughs> um, but it helps me get, hopefully, where I can get to the point where I won't be having these problems. So... If I missed anybody coming in, thank you so much for joining me and um, coming in. What's this? Number three now. <laughs> so um, third time's a charm, right? All right. So, okay. And you're still having problems with the feed. Um, Angela, yes, I have been definitely feeling better today. Um, I took a, my vitamin D <laughs> yesterday. Um, you wouldn't think something like that would make a big difference, but... I am finding that it does, and sometimes I forget, I'm supposed to take vitamin D every day, and um, sometimes I forget uh, to take it, and when I forget for too many days, then I, I just, oh, boy, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, but I don't feel good, I can tell you that. Uh, no energy or anything like that, so, um, so yeah, definitely feel better today. I need to remember to take my vitamin D. <laughs> but I'm not a pill person. Um, so, hi Kim. Yep, we're back. Becca helped me, or uh, is trying to help me get my life going. And we've determined a few things. Uh, first off, I'm a dinosaur. All of my software, hardware, everything is dinosaur age. <laughs> So I need some new stuff. So, yes, Lisa, that's right. I, I'm i supposed to take my vitamin D with my meal, and that's what I usually do. So um, I knew that one. That's a good one. Hi, June. Glad you came back. Um, so what are you guys up to today? I'm working on my art quilt. Now, I know I told you that 
Um, I got mad at my art quilt and I threw it away, <laughs> which I did do. But I dug it back out and because that's just not right giving up on something so soon, you know. I need to keep at it. So you guys hold me accountable and uh, ask me how that art quilt's coming. Let me know that you want to see it and then maybe that'll keep me going on it. So I'll turn the camera so you can see the art quilt. And then I'm going to read the comments. I'm going to have to fix it so that the comments don't come up on the screen. <laughs> I know you guys can't see it, but it bothers me. Okay, I'll turn, see if I can turn this without falling down. All right. Tell me more about art quilts. Well, um, oh, thanks, Becca. Me too. Uh, I actually don't know that much about art quilts. Um, I just know that I want to do them. Um, I'm an artist. Um, that's what I originally, my original um, abilities have always been. Are, but I did, you know, sketching and uh, watercolor and oils. Well, not watercolor so much, but oils and acrylics. And so, in fact, I have a couple of paintings. Do, if you guys want to see one, I'll show you. Here's one of my paintings. Um, did this one years and years ago. Um, my mom had it. It's a little squirrel up in the tree. <laughs> I think he's so cute. You can see it back here. So that's one of my paintings. Now I'll show you another one. This one's a little bigger. I also did this one a long, long time ago. My mom had it. So this is all oil and acrylics. Put the acrylic down first, and then uh, go back over it with oil. So that's the kind of art that I, I've always done. And um, I haven't done, I haven't painted anything in a lot of years. And with this new quilting stuff, um, I thought it would give me a really good chance for me to get back into it and combine my love of quilting with my love of art. And so, yeah, art quilts. <laughs> uh, it's just so much different working with fabric than it is with paint, though. And so, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. Okay, I'm going to check your messages real quick. All right. Oh, yes, I've been keeping my talent from you guys. I know. Um, I didn't want to brag. <laughs> Not that I have anything to brag about, but I do love doing um, animals, um, painting animals. That's my favorite thing. Hi, Sarah. 
Um, Donna does digital art. What, I wonder what, uh, Donna, what is digital art? Does that mean you take photographs? <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Um, Diane, I have been watching Our Time to Quilt. Her name is Deb. Uh, in fact, I watched her this morning, and um, she was doing a dragonfly which was really cool. So, but I didn't, I don't remember seeing you there. I had to leave early because I had to go to the store, but. So. All right, I think I'm caught up with those. Hi, Nancy. Uh, oh, Sarah, if you wash your car, it's going to rain. Um, will I use a mixed medium on my art quilt, Lisa? Yes. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to um, try to find fabrics that work for her face and then if I'm not um, totally happy about it then I might come in and do the eyes and so forth with the paint um, or wherever I think it might need it and then also once I get it glued down because it's still not glued down see I can still take the pieces off and move them around. Um, once I get it glued down and I put any paint on there that I think I need, then I'll also use thread is what I'm thinking. Right? Do some thread painting. Um, but I might want to practice that a little bit first <laughs> on something else because I don't want to ruin that. You know, especially if I finally get it how I want it, but all right. Does anybody have any other questions? Let's see. Kim can draw a stick person with a ruler. <laughs> um. Uh, Apple Pencil, Procreate, Apple, and iPad. I will show you sometime. I would love to see it. And uh, Robin, aren't you in the, um, let's see, aren't you, don't you watch uh, Deb over on My Time to Quilt? Um... June can't draw either. Um, just glued, not sewn. Well, after it's gl uh, glued down, then I will come over it with um, thread. Like I will free motion quilt it. Lisa says, my uncle used to tell her that he could draw flies. <laughs> Is, or did he mean like fly tracks? <laughs> That's what you need to be thinking of when you're doing your free motion quilting. Okay. All right, so... I'm not sure how long have we been on. Does anybody know? Sometimes teachers can be mean. If you like it, that's all that mattered. 
Boy, that's for sure. Um, I had... Um, I think it was in second grade, um, a teacher who was also an artist, and I think her name was Mrs. Cole, C-O-L-E, and I can still see her face, and that was years ago, and I think I still even have a picture of her. <laughs> I'll have to look sometime. Anyway, she was the coolest teacher ever and yeah I just loved her and uh, her and I got along really good because even in the second grade I could uh, I sketched better than most people or most of the kids you know and um, so she really helped me along with my art which was great so great teacher um, it's awesome when you can find people like that in your life to uh, motivate you. And it's so important, I think, as a teacher to recognize, and I think most teachers do, they recognize that children are different. And you got to look for the strengths, what the, each person's strengths are, and then capitalize on that. <laughs> Or, I don't know if I would think, I guess not capitalize, but motivated in that direction, you know, encourage them in that direction. Um, I was a manager in a lot of different capacities most of my life. And that's what I tried to do with my employees is to find out what their strengths were and what their weaknesses were and then, um, you know, push them along that way. <laughs> so, all right, let's check the messages. This is kind of fun. I'm glad this is working. Thanks, Becca. Uh, 40 minutes, ooh, we've been on 40 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes this time, but 40 minutes all together. Okay. Um, we have 22 people watching, and we only have nine thumbs ups. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Give me a thumbs up. I'm really trying. Let's see. Oh, Kim won a grand prize with one and, and sent her the picture caption. Oh, wow, that's cool. You should have showed her, Kim. Oh, good. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks for all the thumbs ups. I appreciate that. Um, how is that new puppy doing, Debbie, or Diane, sorry. Robin watched Deb today, too. Oh, okay, Donna. Donna actually has an Etsy shop. She draws digital stickers for digital planners. Oh. Uh, Don Robin is making a pineapple block. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Becca. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> My number one fan. <laughs> okay. All right, let's work on this for a little bit, huh? And then I'll go back and check the messages. I'm going to... I have my iced tea.
and I switched to green tea because I was drinking way too much black tea and all right so this is the kind of glue I use it's just a tacky glue and I think I bought like three of them off of Amazon I also have fabric tack glue and then I bought a bunch of Ilmer's washable clear glue so some different glues to try and I just learned about these from people I watched on making um, collage quilts this one I use a, if I find a open seam on a quilt that I'm quilting um, like on a customer's quilt I try to look for bad seams before I even put it on the long arm but sometimes they're easy to miss and once I have them on the long arm I, you know I can't take them off and so I will use this on there um, just to hold it down until I can get it till it comes off of there and then I can finish fixing it that works pretty good uh, one reason why you don't want to iron your seams open <laughs> I think people who do have a long arm will tell you that because if the seam comes apart it's a lot harder to fix it um, if you if you iron to one side and the seam comes apart then I can fix it a lot easier so I know there's sometimes that you've got to uh, iron open it's just the best way to do it but it makes it really hard for the long armor This is kind of a neat one. It's um, like got little specks in it. I'm going to try and see if that'll work up here on the ear. What happened to my tweezers? I don't know. Um, can you guys still hear me okay? And the video quality still going all right? I lost my other tweezers. So. I don't know why this thing's on there. That is weird. All right, well, I do have these. Um, I'll put these over here for a minute. Let's see, it's getting pretty hot up here. What time is it? Um, let's see. Uh, it's almost 5 o'clock. But I don't think Tiffany's coming on tonight, so... Um, we'll just stay on for a little bit longer. Maybe she's watching. I hope she gets to feeling better. Let's see. 
want that to be. See how. It's doing there. This has got to be in there. This one. That's where you go. Then What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the messages. Um, let's see. I can't remember where I left off. Oh yeah, back if did you get Donna's uh, SE link? Um, good for you, Kim. I missed. Okay, hold on. Boy, I haven't checked the messages in a while, guys. Sorry. Well, you have that. Oh, thanks, Becca. Um, okay, I think I found where I left off. Um, hi, Mary. Uh, oh, Augie Bear is full of vinegar nobody is safe around him <laughs> that's how puppies are 
Um, Patricia's trying to paper piece. Tacky glue is the best lots to use. Okay, I have a paper piecing born that I got. Um, be careful with fabric tack on wood. I do paper crafting also. I use it on paper and Looks like a snake was having a day on my, okay. But it's amazing glue. Okay, I'm not doing anything on wood. <laughs> but thank you. It's good to know. Yeah, Diane, I think your dog has my tweezers. Yes, I do. Your dog has my tweezers because I cannot find them anywhere. And I like the ones that are pointed, <laughs> but this will work. Um, get in a little bit of static, but it's okay. All right. I'm putting off cutting. Through. Putting off cutting fabric. Why is that so hard? Um, because. We fall in love with our fabric and then we're afraid that it won't be as pretty if we cut it. But I don't remember who said this, but uh, there was somebody on YouTube who's a quilter that said, you will enjoy your fabric much better if you put it in a quilt where you can enjoy it all the time. You can wrap it around you and love on it all you want because now it's in a quilt. So get that fabric cut. <laughs> okay, back over here. I'm um, working on a paper piece runner. I thought I would use two inch hexes to test it out. Sounds good. Donna's doing dishes. Oh, I hate doing dishes. Uh, Diane's going to make an art quilt out of her beautiful mask. Oh, Diane, that would be beautiful. Those dogs are absolutely beautiful. Mm hmm. You may want to watch the video with the sound off. Uh, my sound is off, Becca. I think I think what you're hearing um, is the fan, maybe, if I get too close to the laptop. Are you hearing more static if I'm cl when I get close to the laptop? Um, because the, I can hear the fan going. It's trying to cool itself off. You know, it, this thing is really hot. I can feel it, but but I need to have this laptop on <laughs> so I can read your comments. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm just wondering, oh, it's worse now. Oh, okay. So what was worse now? Worse when I'm closer to the, or further away? I need you to be more specific. Okay, thanks, Becca. Uh, it might be the cord, and maybe when I'm moving, uh, you think it's the mic. How about if I, let's try this other mic. 
This is a little bit better mic. This is the one I actually use for my videos. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to switch it around, see what happens. Okay, can you still hear me? Okay. Um, how is it now, Jim or Becca? Keep talking. Okay, keep talking. Well, I'm good at talking. Um, I'll have a drink. Um, raise the laptop off of the count. Yeah, I have the laptop on a device that keeps it from getting hot, so it's good. It's just, I think what I need to do is clean it out, because I have never done that, and it's been seven years. <laughs> Okay, dishes are done, and I have my, oh, I have your undivided attention. That's great. Okay. So, I think the mic, I think I'm all caught up. And I'm going to keep working on this. Does anybody have any questions about that? So far... glue that one down because I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep that one there. And all I'm going to do is put just a little teeny bit of glue right here. So that way I can put fabric underneath if I still want to. I just have to remember how I put it on there.
Okay. So I'm, ju oh, I'm just um, looking for movement in the fabric. I want it to kind of flow. She's got kind of this cheek right here. Goes right along through here. I know it's pretty dark, so I need a like a dark piece right there. I'm doing that because I'm trying to find trying to find the the darkest spots and then I'm just drawing them in so I kind of get a feel for it now do I want to use purple There's some weird noise going on outside too. I don't not sure what it is. It's like um, neighbors are using a skill saw or something. Um, yeah, I can. Let's see. You, uh, Donna, do you want to see the black and white doggy photo or the color? <laughs> or does it matter? Not picking up the background. Oh, good. That's one picture of her. Um, no, she's a chocolate lab. Oh, you don't hear the background noise? Good. <laughs> Nope, she's a chocolate lab, um, and she, um, I think she was about 12 years old when she passed away. Um, she did get really white on her muzzle, but she was totally chocolate lab when we got her, all brown. Um... Yeah, she's a sweetie. Let me see if I can find the other picture. Well, you guys are sitting on it, so... <laughs> I don't want to jar you around. I think you get the general idea. Um, do you guys want me to bring you closer to the... to the photo? Or the painting? Or the art quilt, I mean? <laughs> I 
Um, yes, I love dogs too. Very much. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to check the messages real quick. Oh, sorry I missed saying goodbye to you, June. Sweet dreams. Oh, in London. Wow. Cool, I have uh, somebody watching from London. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, you're a retired dog groomer. I took a weekend course <laughs> in dog grooming. My husband's um, sister is a dog groomer, and she still does it, and she um, shows dogs. She lives down in uh, California. Madeira? Does that sound right? I don't know if she's showing dogs anymore or not, or when the last time she showed a dog is, but anyway, yeah. Um, let's see. This is the, I only have this up there because that's the color I'm going to use on the inside of the lip. I don't know if it comes up very good, but you can see the pink, and that's going to go right along in here. Um, you see how this is here? I think that'll work good there for that, so that's why I, I keep having that right there. All right, so I go just a little bit longer, you guys, and then I'm probably going to have to go. But now that we got this fixed, I can start scheduling a regular lives. Um, I will still order some other devices um, so I could get a better quality. A video and maybe better quality sound which would be good and then I'm really happy I'm so happy Becca helped me today and I'm glad that you guys stuck it out with me trying to get this live going and um, yeah I just remember hope I remember how to get everything started again <laughs> oh I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, of course, there's always Becca. Well, can always help me. <laughs> because her loves me. So, there's that. Alright. So, I'm probably going to go until... I don't know. Yeah, light pink for the tongue. Yep. Yeah, I think that one, that piece will really go there. Good. Like that. And then this one here. So, Got to save those for that. And... Now I remember what I was working on. Um, uh, 
Okay, I'm going to read these real quick. Uh, darn, I got a phone call. What did I miss? Well, Kim, you can always go back and watch the video over again. Uh-oh, I see... Okay, so the other thing I'm going to have to do is plug my phone in because I can see my battery is getting low. Luckily, I happen to have the cord. There, you plugged in. Okay. Um, Yeepers looks good. My parents told me they went to Paris on their honeymoon. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kim. She says, I'll be fine. Just schedule the YouTube and then open the app on your phone. Yep. Yes, thank you for the help, Becca. We all appreciate it. We've been trying to go live for a long time, huh, Kim? Write it down while it's fresh in your mind. That's right, because I have fibro fog. <laughs> but I'm actually doing really good today. Yesterday was terrible and the day before. But I, I do think that vitamin D helps with that fibro fog. Really, I do. Oh, oh, did you see the puppy yet? Oh yeah, she's laying down right there, isn't she? That is Willa, right there. And she follows me everywhere, everywhere. Oh, I know, Kim. I hate fibro fog. I really do. And you can tell, I think, on some of my videos where I uh, stutter. <laughs> that I, you know, it's that dang fibro fog. But I try to do as many videos as I can when I'm feeling good. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to go until 5.30. And then I'm going to have to go because I usually feed my dog at 5 o'clock. So if you have any questions, let me know. It's kind of a cool piece. I think I will put that up there. You know, I'm starting to think it might be better to go smaller. The smaller the pieces, the better.
Somebody's splitting wood. Welcome back, Mary. Yeah, I kind of think I should have started with a landscape quilt. What do you think of that? Oh, great. Give you a little bit of better view. You know, I kind of like looking at it through the camera and over onto the screen. It looks totally different than it looks here. Isn't that weird? What do you think? I think that's looking good. It looks good in the camera on the screen. I mean, these are going to be, these aren't permanent yet. All right, I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> and so I guess I'm getting the thumbs up on the art quilt. It's looking all right. Good. Taking you guys for a little ride. I want to get you closer, but I don't want you really in my way either. So I won't be bumping you all the time. Oh, leave it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if I said it in my first video and, or if all of you guys were here during that time when I was doing that art quilt. Um, for me, whenever I do um, 
a painting of an animal. I have to get the eye down first um, because to me the eye is, you know, it's the way that you see into the soul. It tells you a lot about an animal, about a person. Um, so if you don't get the eye just right, then it's sometimes, you know, it can be really hard to get the rest of the painting done right. So I always like to try to get the eye done right. And uh, then I just kind of feel like it should start talking to me. And there's going to be a point, I, I know it, because this is how my paintings would go. I would sometimes struggle a little bit, and then all of a sudden, it the uh, painting would just start talking to me and um, things would just start clicking. I would get that, you know, the right paint mixed together, etc., etc. Um, and it's the same way with when I do quilts. When I'm quilting quilts, sometimes I have to set it up there for a few days and look at it and let it talk, let it talk to me. <laughs> You know, it's it's got a story in there somewhere. Uh, you just got to try and find it and bring it out. So, um, all right, I'm going to check the comments. Oh, let's see. Okay, everybody likes it. Says it's looking good. Jim's going to do an art quilt and they want him to use orange. <laughs> um, Diane, thank you, Diane. Oh. Hi, GK. Could you tell me your name again? I should know it. I'm glad you're here. Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Thank you. Orange flowers. Check. <laughs> the nose is perfect. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Kyle. Well, I don't think your hands have to be too steady because, you know, I mean, you just glue them on there. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, I dropped you. Oh, great. I'm glad everybody likes the colors. Jim wants me to leave it alone. Yes, it's amazing. Uh, yes, what she was doing, um, she was ready to go for a walk, I believe is what was going on in that photo. Yes, Willa is tuckered out. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Angie. Hi, Angie. Um, hi, Billy. You think I should keep it just like it is? All right. Looks pretty good that way. Great. Well, then I will just glue those down because I'm pretty happy with the way it is, too. Um... I'm going to just tack them down so they don't keep moving around anymore. And then we will get back at it at a later date. Would you guys like to um, join me again for this?
you're going to make your permade. <laughs> Do you want mine? I'm not going to make the permaid. Um, I might send it to my sister and let her make it for her new grandbaby. Okay, I'm guessing the yes please, yes you would like to see more. Great, okay. Um, so time of day, is during the day better? Or what color did you get, Teresa? Oh, what color per made? Um, I think it's the green one. Let me go get it. It's the green one. Jim likes to watch the process. Yes, I would love. Yes, I would love to. Okay, what color did you get? <clears throat> you got purple. That's my favorite color. I would like, I would have liked purple better. <laughs> Okay, so I need to know, um, use it as a giveaway. I thought about that, um, but my um, sister, or I am a great aunt. So my baby niece is, I think, six months old. She would probably like it. So, I, yes, K, purple wall. Purple is the best. Um, what, do I want to trade? Uh, well, if I get the purple one, then I might not want to give it away. <laughs> Would you rather have the green one, Kim? Well, Kim, send me a message. You know, a messenger. We'll talk about it. Um... So, anyway, I think Monday night about 5.30, if that works. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to wait and t for just a second and see what it says about 5.30 on Monday night. Or 6 o'clock, or earlier, actually. I need to know. Daytime or evening, or does it matter? Good night, Diane. Um, I am, um, Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> I knew it would come. So right now for me, it is 535. Okay. So Pat Sloan, I think, comes on Monday at 530. So 6-ish. Six o'clock, six. That would be nine o'clock Eastern time.
Oh, you're too, okay, you're, so that'd be 8 o'clock for you. Okay, that's great. All right, that's what I'll do. Um, I'll come on Monday night at 6 o'clock for about an hour, and we'll do a little bit more work on this art quilt. And um, also maybe I will show you a couple of other things that I've been working on. Um at the beginning of the video and then we'll do some art quilt work so let me know that's right angie or angela got to watch fireside chat i don't like to miss that either so is this really hard to do because of the lag time so what i'm going to do is go ahead and stop this video and then I can still talk to you for a minute in the chat. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you helping me out and getting my live stream tested and going. And so that means I could do a lot more live streams, which is great because I hate to edit. <laughs> and I like to be able to talk to people and not just to myself. So, um... And I know I'm talking to myself, but you're still there. You can hear me, and I can read your comments. So, anyway, Willa says goodnight. Say goodnight, Willa. She's out of it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you Monday night at 6 o'clock. Bye. Now i got to figure out how to stop it. Thank <laughs> you.